Hello, this is Willie Thomas, and now we're going to talk to you a little bit about Clever and how here at Robson ISD, uh, what it looks like once your students get into it, once your um, children get into Clever. So I'm logged in into Clever here uh, as a student, and as you see, there are many different apps and links that are available for them right uh, inside of the portal, the one-stop shop, as they call it, to get to the different apps that we use here at Robinson ISD. So you can click on Flipgrid. It's a link. It'll take them to Flipgrid. Brain to Prop Junior, where they take them to Brain Pop Junior, and they have to put in their username and password. It also has for iStation and iXL and things like that. So the one that I want to show you and talk to you about is how they get to Google Classroom. So in Google Classroom, uh, this information, this is where student teachers can assign assignments and tasks and things for them to to do. They can do up post updates and communicate with the students and communicate with uh, the teachers. So once I click on Classroom, for the very first time, very first time in Clever, your students are gonna have to log in to Clever or your children are gonna have to log into Clever. So their username is gonna be their first dot last at stu.rstweb.org. Okay, that's that's their Google account and username. And then of course their password is gonna be their ID number and their three initials. So once that's in, they can go ahead and click on login. If they put it in correctly there, it'll go through all these different web pages. Oh, and see, I put the password in uh, correct. So I'm going to update that real quick. I hit the update login. Now it's going to go through their username, password, and then bam. So these are all of their classes that they are a part of in Google Classroom. And this is where they can get information from their teacher on how um, to use the different apps or, or any types of assignments that are, they have for that particular classroom. All right, so if you have any questions about your students accessing Google Classroom, please feel free to give me a call uh, or shoot me an email and leave your comments below with any questions as well. All right, thank you very much and have a great day.